Hello dear viewers, we are starting our work in the state television company Western Armenia. Now let's see broadcast for today. The 47th issue of Western Armenia weekly magazine has been published. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. More than 1,000 victims in Lebanon by Israel attacked. Aramast, symbol of saturnity and power in Armenian mythology. Sons of Western Armenia. St. Minas Monastery of Kes, Hajak Sirekanyan. Let's support the state television of Western Armenia. The 47th issue of Western Armenia Weekly magazine has been published. The statue of goddess Anahit is on the cover. The worship of Anahit in Western Armenia comes from time immemorial and is closely connected with the worship of motherhood. At an early period, she was considered as goddess of war. She was called Voske Maid, Nurtur Maidar, Great Lady, Voske Tsari, Voske Matan. Anahit was considered the mother of prudence and decency, the goddess who nurtures, sustains and glorifies people. In the new issue, you can find the following topics as well. Representatives of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia in the History Museum of Armenia on the occasion of the exhibition entitled From Anahit to Maria. An international conference entitled Worship of Anahit Goddess held on 15 September. The foundation of the Armenian State Federation and the programs for the participation of competitions. The meeting of the representatives of the Republic of Western Armenia with the Armenians of Artsakh. As well as you can find the 2024 archery ceremony in Western Armenia, Arman Grikorian. Armenian English, French and Turkish versions of the weekly newspaper in PDF format can be downloaded below. On 6 October, Armin Uhisagyan, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, gave a speech. She refers to the sessions of the government Western Armenia, where the President Ms. Lydia Markosyan spoke about the importance of the Medal of Gomitas. The speaker referred to the concert held in Exxon Province, France, which was dedicated to the future of Western Armenia and all Armenians. The President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, participated in the discussion who represents and protects the interests of the Armenians of Western Armenia and the United Nations. The speaker also presented Armena Gabrahamian's speech in which the president spoke about the rights of Armenian citizens and emphasized the mandate of citizens of Western Armenia, which you can hold only if you are a citizen of Western Armenia. The president informed once again that the citizenship of Western Armenia is recognized by the United Nations and the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Mr. President referred to the First War of Artsakh, where they showed their strength, due to which we must reorganize and defend our rights today. Mr. Armin Abrahamian highlighted the fact that the National Council of Western Armenia was re-established in the liberated territory, which was never and will never be part of Azerbaijan. Therefore, we are obliged to preserve our national identity and cultural heritage, as well as to face all challenges with the spirit of unity and struggle. Israel launched heavy airstrikes in the densely populated southern suburbs of Beirut, including around the international airport. The Israeli army carried out 11 consecutive attacks on the Lebanese capital, which was considered the most violent attack. AFP news agency reports citing a source close to Hezbollah. Israel media reported that the target of the attacks was Hashem Sefidien, a senior Hezbollah leader and possible successor to Hassan Nasrallah, who was killed in Israel strike last week. Israel and the Lebanese group have yet to comment on the incident. Now let's talk about Aramast, who is a symbol of fatherhood and power in Armenian mythology, but the claim that he is the highest god in Armenian mythology is wrong. The Armenian system is unique because there is no division of main or secondary gods, there is one god, and the creatures are the embodiments of these attributes. Any father who carries the Armenian value system glorifies Aramast and tries to awaken his qualities. He strives to be the protector and leader of the family, fair, loyal to family values, and an ideal father for his children. Armenian kings and princes were also guided by the same logic, considering their people as their own children. They have taken upon their shoulders the protection and leadership of the people maintaining high morals and qualities of nobility as optimized by Aramast. Aramast was a perfection of Armenian kings and fighters who tried to be fair, loyal and protect their family and people. Today our nation lacks nobility, bearing the values of Aramast, which is important for our empowerment. Glory to our fathers, the wise leaders of our nation and Aramast. 
Tigran Petrosian, or as he was called, Yerkate Tigran in English version, Irony Tigran, was a famous chess player known for his exceptional defensive style and a two time world champion in 1963 and 1966. He became famous for his patient and methodical game. Being the first Armenian world champion in history, he played a huge role in popularizing chess in Armenia. Petrosian was born in Tiflis in a bankrupt Armenian family. He loved to play chess since childhood. Developing his abilities, he moved to Moscow in order to find better opponents and improve his playing style. The monastery is located 9 km west of the city of Karin, in the historical village of Kes. As of 1915, Kes village had 1,103 Armenian and 170 Muslim residents. The village also had a school where 100 students studied. The St. Minas Monastery in the middle was built in 1719. However, judging by the Khachkar embedded in the wall of the monastery on which 1740 was engraved, it can be concluded that the monastery built in 1719 replaced an older building. Western Armenian television, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It mainly broadcasts the history of Western Armenia, the present and future, with political and other contexts, as well as news that raises various issues. Western Armenia Television recorded one of its most important achievements by launching the Western Armenian Weekly Newspaper, which is aimed at preserving and popularizing our history, culture and identity. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. The compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you good starting day.